with that in mind, um, suppose we've done a simple where and uh, we've looked up this movie. And let no, there's no trickery here. Okay, the movie exists. It doesn't throw an exception. Now, right after we do this, another application writes into the database directly. Perhaps it's another legacy app that's running alongside ours. Uh, and in the database table, it makes a change to uh, some attribute of movie. Let's say it changes the title. So just after that instance, what is the value of movie? Uh, does it get updated automatically because of the way Active Record connects uh, your in-memory data objects to the database? Does it get updated automatically because Active Record is able to use metaprogramming to do some of this magic? Uh, is it not updated automatically? But if you re-executed aware to sort of reload it, then you would get the updated value. Uh, or does this behavior depend in some way on the underlying database? Is it undefined and just one of these things you shouldn't do? OK, initial vote. Initial vote says, initial vote, initial vote. Uh, we have a. We have a majority view for red with a minority view, I would say, for orange and a couple of others. OK, let's see if anybody's changed their mind. Second vote. Second vote. Second vote. Second vote. Second vote. Uh, I, I would say the, the margin for red has increased, but it is far from unanimous. So let's go through these. Um, updated automatically because an active record model connects your app to the database. Well, it tries to do that, right? But they're still separate things. There's no if somebody goes around our app and directly into the database, which is what the question is assuming, there's no way for our app to sort of magically know about this fact, right? The database is really more like a passive repository that we're talking to. So if our app is using active record to talk to the database, but there's some other app that is talking to the database separately, our app has no real way of understanding what's going on there, right? That, the moment after the database table is directly updated, we have no idea about that fact. As far as we know, nothing has happened. So what about updated automatically because Active Record uses metaprogramming? It certainly does use metaprogramming. It does it to make a lot of the connections easier. But again, there is no magical way for the database to notify us, uh, generally speaking, that, hey, this has changed. If another app went in behind our backs, essentially, and did it. Um, but of course, if we reload it, and there's more than one way to reload a record, but uh, movie.reload would also have worked. But in this example, this actually will get us the new value. And woe be unto us if we have made local changes to that value without uh, getting um, without reflecting those changes back to the database, right? Our, our local values would be stomped on if we did this. But the lesson here is that the database is a separate piece of machinery from the application, right? We're, we're trying to bring them as close together as we can, but if another app goes in behind our backs and makes changes directly in the database, unless we take special external steps to get notified of that somehow, we have no way of knowing. And let's uh, have a little bit of discussion about this because I see that people have questions about it. So let's start. Uh, yeah, let's just go from front to back. I thought so. that this like, movie.where thing didn't return a database object or any information actually from the database, but it was actually uh, pointed to a SQL query that would eventually, when you, once you dereference movie, then it would go and access the database. Actually, you're right. You're right. Technically, I, I, yeah. I would have, yes. So are, are there people who did not vote red, but it was for that reason? Yeah. 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 OK, you're all actually way smarter than me. Um, <laughs> yes, uh, and ironically, by the way, in like Rails, 2. Point something and earlier, this wasn't the case. Rails 2.x actually had eager queries. So all the benefits of, of chaining lazy things would not have worked. But yes, that's so technically what I, what I should have done, you, you get a free thing from the swag bag, remind me. Um, what I should have done is like, you know, put S movie or something that would have forced the evaluation to take place. But yes, that's very well observed that technically no query is happening here. The query doesn't actually happen until I try to consume the value in some way. Very well pointed out. And all of you who are going to point out the same thing, likewise, very well pointed out. So question